Hi, I'm Zach Tafe, and these are the calculations for the bridge scene in the movie Taken. Now, we had to estimate a few values before we get started. So our height, we figured from the boat to the bridge was about 30 feet, but it comes out to be about 9.144 meters. We looked up his mass, Neeson's, so add his 90, it was 96 kilograms. Acceleration is a constant, as always, due to gravity, 9.81 meters per second squared. And the change in time it took from him to go to the bridge to the boat was about four and a half seconds. So, first thing we had to do, because we wanted to figure out the force it takes to break a bone, and see if he, if, if he would have broken a bone during his landing. So first thing we had to do was find out his final velocity. So we used this equation, final velocity squared equals uh, initial velocity squared plus 2a uh, multiplied by the change in x, which is which would be our our height. So we're solving for v final squared equals and our v naught is zero because he's starting from a standstill. So zero squared is zero plus two times nine point nine point eight one meters per second squared times, and the delta x we said was 9.144 meters. So our v final, our v final squared is equal to, and we, cal we calculated out this number to be 199.8 three three nine two that would be meters squared per second squared so to find the final velocity you would take the square root of both terms so v final and we found it to be fourteen point one one meters per second that was the final velocity now the thing that breaks bones whenever you hit something will be the impulse. Now impulse can be described in two ways. Impulse is the force multiplied by the change in time or if you were to derive this you can find this equation which is the mass of the object times the final velocity minus the mass of the object times the initial velocity. But we don't worry about this term because the initial velocity is zero because he's starting from a standstill. So we can solve this to find the force. So we got um, 96 kilograms and we multiplied that by the final velocity we found which was 14.11 meters per second which equals the force, which we're looking for, and the delta time, which we, as, which we calculated out, I mean, estimated to be about 0 0.4 seconds. So, to find the force, F is equal to 96 kilograms multiplied by 14.11 meters per second over the change in time, four seconds of zero point four seconds. And now we now we've kind of, we put this in our, into our calculator, and we found the force that he hit with. Upon landing was three thousand three hundred and eighty-eight and a half newtons, which is enough to break a rib. But you, but you, which to break a rib, rib is about thirty-three hundred newtons. But to break your femur. It takes about 4,000 newtons. 
Now we couldn't find anything for the exact bones in your ankle for how many, for how, how, many how much Newton or how much force you would need to break. So we figure it's probably going to be closer to the femur, not so much the rib, because the ribs are very flat plate-like bones. So we figured that he that 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 the movie is correct that he wouldn't break his bone, but he does come up limping at first, which indicates he would have had a probably a high ankle sprain, if anything, but in the following scene, he doesn't have an ankle sprain, he's just walking around just fine. So, we have proven, I don't know, what should I say now?